y'all welcome or welcome back to the video it's your girl mia and we are here with a ice cream food review guys yes that's right i said ice cream review okay a great snack i am here with cream alicious cream alicious guys so i don't know if you ever seen this in the grocery store where did i get this from i got this from kroger I, i'm sure they probably sell it other places besides kroger but i got it from kroger and so, um, Cream Alicious is a black owned company. Um, it is a blissful Southern Cream Alicious. So I have two um, flavors here that I would like to try and let y'all know what I think in case y'all might want to try it as well. <laughs> now, before we go ahead and get into this video, I'm gonna need y'all to do a few things for me. Smash that like button if you would, if you could, okay? Go ahead and give me 200 likes, <laughs> please. Um, go ahead and share me out and comment if you've ever tried these and then also subscribe if you feel like you want to go ahead and subscribe hit that little notification bell so every time I drop a video you won't miss out okay so I've actually seen a few people um, eating this one of them Coco TTV if you haven't seen her go check her channel out really great content um, so she actually tried this with um, Tam's table, yes. So they were celebrating Coco's birthday and they had the cream delicious. And I'm like, that ice cream looked pretty good. Not only does it look good, but it's black owned. And not only is it black owned, but it's also created from Ohio. Oh, wait. I know. Ain't nobody here to say I owe for me, but oh, wait. I owe. I'm here, Columbus, Ohio. Okay. So born and raised in Ohio. So if it's something from Ohio, I'm definitely representing just like the Buckeyes. You feel me? I don't know about them Browns, but we ain't get on that, okay? okay? But speaking of Browns, you know, the Browns is in Cleveland. So speaking of Cleveland, Chef Liz, who actually created Cream Malicious, she is from Cleveland, Ohio. So shout out to um that bomb Ohio queen for creating these amazing I don't even know if they're amazing, but I heard really good things about it. So definitely going to check these out, uh, these amazing ice creams. So when I was reading up on Liz and Cream Malicious, basically they took Southern style desserts, desserts and basically formulated it into ice cream. So they are big on the South and the South cooking. So they went on a turn into Cremalicious ice cream. So I have Aunt Poonie's Caramel Pound Cake, and I also have the Slap Your Mama Banana Pudding. So I'm gonna definitely try out and see what they taste like. Now I know they had another one, I think like with pecans or something like that in it, and I'm not huge on pecans, walnuts, stuff like that. So I left that where it was, but I said these two right here, yes yeah, sir. Let's go ahead and dive right in, okay? So first we're gonna check out the Aunt Pony's Caramel Pound Cake. And this is caramel with pound cake chunks and caramel swirls. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else about this? Of course, you know, it is not lactate. I'm sorry. Uh, not for the people who are lactose intolerant, should we say. It's not for the people who are lactose intolerant because it doesn't say that. Um... Let's see here. This is a buttery caramel drizzle pound cake. Escape made to make it all worth the wait. Well, just reading it got my mouth watering. So let me go ahead and check these right on out. Oh, that looks so nice. So this is what the inside looks like. Very nice. I wish that I had these sitting out a little longer so they could be like soft. But it is what it is. Actually, it is soft. Like, I literally just took it out of the refrigerator and the spoon just slid right through. All right, so this is my first bite. I don't know why my mouth is watering so much. I must really be wanting to try this ice cream. So let's see. I get a little bit of caramel, but not a lot of caramel taste to it. I'm gonna get a chunk. Let me see if I can find a chunk. Mm -hmm. I 
got chunk. It's good. But the only thing is, it's good. Don't get me wrong. But you know how like ice cream can be like super sweet? This is not super sweet at all. But it's a perfect amount of sweet, but it's not super sweet. Mm. And then the chunk, the chunks are very little. So it said like a buttery cake. I can like see that, you know, in the chunk because it is giving like a little buttery taste. Just very slight buttery taste though. The ingredients aren't like booming on your tongue, your taste buds. You know what I'm saying? But it's good. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. It is very good, I must say. Like I said, it's not very sweet, sweet, but it's just right. I like it. Now that part almost gave me like a, um, that little chunk, almost gave me like a cookies, like a cookie dough taste. But the caramel isn't overpowering or anything. It's really good. It is really good. I would highly recommend to check that out. Especially if you're not like, if you don't want something sweet, 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 you know what I'm saying? But still subtle, like still going to satisfy that sweet craving. Yeah. How many calories is this? So this is 350 calories. Yeah. The ingredients is good. Okay, it was distributed by the Carmelicious Inc., which is in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's go, Ohio stand up. So it does contain milk, of course, and wheat. So, yeah. But other than that, if you're allergic to milk or wheat, you good to go on this. You know what I'm saying? If you, I mean, if you are allergic to wheat or milk, then you're not good to go on this. But if you're not, you're good to go on this, okay? So yeah, so Creamalicious, um, the Aunt Poonies Caramel Pound Cake. It's really good. It's really good. I'm going to rate it. Since like I said, it's not really sweet. I got to get used to it because I, I know it'll be tasting like super sweet ice cream. So in that situation, it's sweet, but it's not sweet, sweet. So I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10. That's what I'm going to do. So now we are going to dive into the Slap Your Mama Banana Pudding. This is banana custard with shortbread cookie chunks. Okay. All right. Of course, still. Oh, my. So, this is uh, 350, 350 calories, and this is 340 calories. So, this one is just a tad bit more calorie intake, but, oh, that's pretty. It's a pretty color. That yellow. All right. This, oh, it tastes, it smells like banana. So let's taste, oh, it's so soft. Like, y'all know how, like, ice cream be in the freezer for a minute. Like, I ain't playing. Like, these been in my freezer for probably, like, about a week, okay? And y'all know, like, it would be hard. You're going to have to put it in the microwave to soften it up. Not Creamalicious. That's why it's called Creamalicious. Okay, let's see. Wow. Yeah. Like off rip. Definitely taste the banana. Definitely is giving a banana vibe for sure. Like if you are in love with bananas, you're gonna love this ice cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to get the chunk. The chunks though, you know how like that little chunk spit out my mouth, but <laughs> The chunks, I know like an ice cream is like a lot, a lots and lots of chunks, big chunks too. Not a cream malicious. The cr chunks are very small, but it's good. Let me see. This is really good. This is, oh my gosh. It 
It is straight banana pudding. It definitely tastes like banana pudding. And like I said, you got the little shortbread, but it's very like small. It's very tasty. Mm. This is good. This is really good. Out of both of them, if I'm going to have to go with either one, I'm definitely going to pick the Slap Your Mama banana pudding just because it is hitting with the banana taste. But this one, mm, yeah, and when you get that little shortbread in there, <laughs> it definitely is giving the banana pudding with the shortbread for sure. Yeah. Sorry guys if I'm smacking on that one, but this one is really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that, and I actually never had any banana ice cream. So this is actually the first time I had banana ice cream, and this is really, 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 really good. I just want to go back to this one again, just real quick. Because like I said, I was not getting a, a bold caramel taste. Let me see. Let me actually put some water in my mouth real quick just so I can rinse away the banana taste. Let me see. This is a big scoop, okay? So I can really get the full. So the caramel is very light. Don't get me wrong, it's good. So if you're like, don't want a big caramel taste, you know what I'm saying? It's fine because this isn't giving all caramel. You know, it is, you can definitely taste a hint of caramel in there. But this right here, <laughs> that right there, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm. that was a big chunk right here. What's that? A piece of pound cake. That's good. I think out of this, these two, slap your mama, <laughs> banana pudding, yes sir. But like I said, this right here is still good, okay? I'm not throwing this to the side. It's still going to be eaten, but it's very good, okay? Uh, so shout out to uh, Chef Liz. She's out here doing her thug dizzle with the cream malicious ice cream. Like I said, guys, go check this out in y'all store. See if it's there. If y'all have a Kroger, it's definitely up in Kroger. I haven't went to Walmart to see if it's in Walmart, but I'm sure it is probably there. And if you have tried it, like I said, drop a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite. If y'all tried any one of these. And also let me know if you are going to go look out and try it. Because who don't want black on oh, ice cream? Ah! So shout out to Queen Liz, man. She is doing her thing with these criminalicious ice creams. Shout out to Ohio. We doing it, y'all. We is out here doing it. And shout out to everybody else that's out there doing it, okay? I appreciate y'all tapping in. Woo! The ice cream got me <laughs> burping already. I appreciate y'all tapping in. Rocking and rolling with your girl. Make sure, again, y'all send me some love by liking this video, comment, and if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye!